As we mentioned at the top of the show, a bomb cyclone storm that formed off the coast of Vancouver Island resulted in weather and wind warnings right across B.C. Here's Global's chief meteorologist, Anthony Farnell, who joins us now for more. Anthony, good morning. Thanks for coming Good in. morning uh, to you guys. Bomb wow. cyclone. Yes, what a storm this is. First of all, could you just kind of put this into perspective for us, what we saw yesterday into today in yeah. B.C.? Yeah, I, I mean, studying meteorology, this would be on the cover of our textbook. This storm, the fact it deepened so rapidly incredible presentation on satellite imagery and it didn't even make landfall it's sitting out there in the pacific and it's also uh, the wind field that is so strong and so vast that these waves anywhere from 13 to 17 meter waves so uh, it's just uh, i'll show you the satellite imagery because that really puts it into perspective and you can just see what's going on so this is from california where there's an atmospheric river all the way up to vancouver island and central we see the lower mainland dealing with wind, rain, snow, and winds have knocked out power. Seattle got it really bad. Vancouver spared the worst, but this is going to sit there for a couple of days. Then that's what I heard is that there's uh, we were going to have the initial impact in the last uh, overnight, but there will be there will be uh, storm two and three. And that's all part of this. <laughs> that's all part of this. So a bomb cyclone. What does that mean? It, it seems like a new term, but it's actually been in meteorology since the late 80s. So it's a, a storm that deepens about 24 millibars or more in 24 hours. This deepened 25 millibars in six hours and about 60 millibars in 24 hours. So it's just incredible how fast it deepened. But now notice how it's kind of stalled. It's just going to sit there and you'll get these spokes like a bicycle wheel, a bit of energy that comes around and then brings a bit more rain, some mountain snow. This is something I think BC is going to have to get used to because uh, this winter should be wet and likely colder than normal. And, and that's something with these storms can lead to some big time trouble. Mm -hmm. All right, that is really humbling just to watch that on the big screen. I, I could watch it all day and I mm -hmm. did yesterday as it, as it deepened. So it almost has an eye. It looks like a hurricane a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, give us your uh, winter forecast while we have you here this morning, uh, Anthony, for the entire country and uh, what it's going to look like. And I guess let's start in the West. Yeah, I mean, this has been a bit of a, a, a dud couple of years. If you like winter weather, last year was, was not your year. I know a lot of people uh, enjoyed it. I'm a skier, so I, I wasn't as happy. Uh, water temperatures plays a big role. Now, this is the Pacific. This has something to do with our bomb cyclone. See all that warm water? That's the red color. And then you have this blue color, and it's that contrast. That's where the storms like to develop. In the Atlantic, a lot more red above normal water temperatures. That has led to some very mild conditions in Europe, in eastern parts of the country, where it's been this almost summer-like pattern right into fall. And then you hear El Nino, La Nina. Well, is it La Nina or is it La Nada? Nothing uh, this upcoming winter. And that's going to play a big role right now as far as uh, globally. That's where the blue colors are. So La Nina, but it's a very weak one. That's going to generally lead to cold conditions out west, milder in the east. It's uh, going to be not as warm as last winter, but still above seasonal temperatures. And everybody cares a lot about temperature, of course. Mm -hmm. But is it going to snow? Do we have a lot of snow. Now, if you're a skier like me, you may want to venture out west because above normal precipitation, yes, that means these big bomb cyclones and storms and power outages on the coast at times, but it also means uh, quite a bit of snow and an early start to the ski season out west uh, in the Great Lakes. Last year basically didn't have a ski season and there was a record low amounts of snow for southern Ontario. This year, even if it's warmer than normal, I think we're going to get some snow, but we're also going to get a lot of rain. And that's something from the Great Lakes into Atlantic Canada we've gotten used to. Yes, you can get snow, but does it stick around? Does it last for weeks on end? And right now it doesn't look that way. By the way, mm -hmm. uh, if you're in the prairies, winter it was like a switch. Winter's here. It is snow on the ground, refrigeration, mm -hmm. minus 20s with wind chill this morning. Winter is here to stay. Okay, well, there you have it. And, uh, and you also got your meteorology lesson. I, I want to go. <laughs> you said that was it. So you said bomb cyclone was one of the first things you guys learned? I mean, we learned it. It's social media has made it really popular. So that's when you have to kind of, okay, that's what we're going with. We're going with bomb cyclone. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anthony, thanks for coming in. <laughs>